Have you ever wondered what would happen if you used both mind control and enthrall on the same enemy at the same time? Well, for one, that's not even possible if you use enthrall first. So you have to use mind control first. Mind control makes your target invincible. So by making an invincible enemy your thrall, you basically have a thrall that, and I cannot stress this enough, will not die to neither your three nor your allies, which makes Revenant work much better with a team. This double controlled invincible thrall will generate many other thralls for you if you cast it on the right target, which makes your two way more consistent at keeping you alive at high levels or steel path where there are tons of enemies. I do have to mention that your second ability can be recasted, but generally grabbing them from a thrall is a safer option. Another thing that is quite useful about this minion is the fact that it will teleport to you. So unlike your normally brain dead thralls that can fall behind making you incapable of casting enthrall again, this guy will follow you and with its big boy aggro, keep you or your defense target safe. One thing that you should remember is that mind control's duration is higher than enthrall's duration. So when you want a new one, you should press it once to remove the old effect, then cast it on a target. And if you felt like it, you can shoot the target right after mind controlling it, which will increase its damage output. But I do have to say, mind control's target is really bad at killing stuff, even with a 6000% bonus. Alright, so let's have a look at this build with mind control on 4. I put just enough duration on this build that it is good enough to last for a while, but not so much that it basically locks your thralls to that one location, making it really hard to move your thralls to your desired location. But if you still found yourself having a hard time moving to the next objective, a slightly lower duration might be what you need. Then we have just about 250% strength, which is the amount you need to deal 100% damage to a thrall with your 3. I also put Thrall Pact in here because, uh, well, I didn't find anything more useful. But if you don't have Energize, then perhaps you can put more energy in the build instead. And notice that enemy radar is my aura, because you need enemies for your 1 and 4, so knowing exactly where they are is crucial. As for Arcanes, aside from Arcane Energize, which is mutually exclusive with the existence of Flow or Prime Flow, you can pretty much put whatever you want in here. I went for more strength to further increase the third ability's damage against stuff like Acolytes, but you can use whatever you fancy. Well, now I can go back to Unity. My Discord server is open and that's where you can find me, or as usual, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye!